Text messaging, also known as short message service, or SMS, is a convenient way to communicate. However, it is important to remember that it is not a secure form of communication. Entering the wrong cell phone number or providing too many details can lead to a breach of information. Here's an example. Hey, Sandra. I need you to notify this patient that she needs to come in for a depo provera shot. Okay, I'll get, get it done. Thank you. Thank you. Did I show you the last cake I did? No, you know I love cakes. Oh, let me see it, girl. Ooh, you got a text message, young lady. Oh, really? Dear Gina Martin, please call the health department to schedule your Depo Provera shot. Depo Ooh, Provera shot? What let you me see to? that. Mm -hmm. This is not for me. I don't get Depo Provera shots. I didn't give the health department any permission to contact me via text. Get out of here. I sure hope Gina Martin calls them about her depo shot. I sure hope so, girl. Mm. To protect PHI and minimize the risk of breach, always follow these guidelines. Only send text messages through your ADPH Lotus Notes account. Make sure that the patient has marked the CHR3 form indicating that they would like to receive text message reminders. Enter the cell number as a 10-digit number, and here's an example of that. Double check to make sure that you have entered the information correctly. Make sure you're entering both, you have the right patient and you're entering the correct cell phone number. Do not use the patient's name or any other identifiers in the text message. Remember that diagnosis information cannot be provided to a patient via text message. Do not CC or blind copy, which is BCC, a text message appointment reminder. Only inform the patient about his or her appointment, date, the time, and the place, and do not provide any health information in the text message. If you have any questions about text messaging, please contact the ADPH Privacy Officer or Information Security Officer. Mm -hmm.